Welcome back to City Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Todd Munkin. The question is, can Todd Munkin get Lamar back to MVP form? The answer to me is yes. I'm going to take four to five, maybe even six parts to look at a few games and show you how Todd Munkin can get Lamar back to MVP form. Under Todd Munkin, I think Lamar will reach his full form as some of the anime people say his 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 full super saiyan form and i don't know if there's anything over there because i stopped watching anime a while ago but i think he can bring out the best in lamar i'm just going to start with um i was watching the 2018 season and i watched about seven games maybe eight and i kept coming back to the very first game versus the saints i saw so much stuff in that game that i felt like we could use in our on our team or with our offense and keep in mind, when I'm watching this, I'm looking at it as if the quarterback is Lamar, if the running back is J.K., if the receivers, the guys that we got as receivers. That's the same as with the O-line. Everything that I'm watching in this game that I'm going to show you, I have in mind that these are our guys doing this. And keep in mind, this is 2018, so there's more in his bag since then. That was five years ago, six years ago. So I'm sure there's more has been added to his bag since 2018, but he had one dynamic. Well, he had two dynamic receivers. He had a younger D Jack and he had Mike Evans, but he didn't have a complete offense like he got now. So I'm going to take you back to 2018, part one, part two, maybe a part three, and we're going to look at how Todd Munkin can help Lamar get back to MVP form. Roll the intro. This is 2018, Munkin and the Tampa Bay Bucks versus the Saints. And I've watched a couple of games from that season, and I keep coming back to this first game because I saw a lot of stuff in this game that I would hoped that we would do, that I would hope that we would do. And, and mentally what I did was I was looking at their personnel and like right here, like you look at down here is Mike. Mike, Mike, um, Mike Evans. And I'm thinking of Mike Evans or, you know, this being Bateman or Odell Beckham. That's what I'm thinking. Looking up here at, um, I'm not sure if this is Godwin or whoever this is, but I'm looking at this person being the other person, Odell or, or Bateman. Looking at this guy being Zay Flowers. And this is Scotty Miller, I think. Then looking at your tight end being Ben Andrews. Looking at your back being JK. Looking at your quarterback being Lamar. Now, keep in mind, this quarterback right here is Fitz, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, we're going to see some things that I, that Munkin did that I really like. And then we're going to try to project how it would look with our personnel in it. All right. So, that's what we, we're going to start from there and go from there. A little quick out. And again, just say this, baby. We, we can get this. We can do this. We, we can do this. Say this, baby. And say this is... um. Uh, Zay Flowers and and you got Odell right here. We can we can do this little quick out stuff. I think that is a good one. So for the for the sake of video, let's say Mike Evans is is Odell. Good one is Mike Evans is Odell. Good one is is um Bateman and Scotty Miller is. Is Flowers. And then their tight end, I can't remember their tight end name, is, is Mark. Let's just say that. And obviously, you'll see some stuff that Fitzpatrick does that Lamar can probably do 1,900 times better. But let's just let's just keep going. And the three-step drop, obviously Lamar can do that easily. Easily. With more zip and on the ball and everything. And look at the personnel package. Personnel package. You got you got two receivers outside. You got your slot guy right here, which could be Flowers. You got the tight end. You're looking at 11 personnel. You got the guy up on the center, which could be Lamar with, with Dobbins in the backfield. You run a little dive dive action. And with what we got in the middle, this play, I don't think this play would fit us unless Linderbaum comes back and is that much stronger. Cause that's just that's just going right down here, and we know Linda Bum's more like a a zone type a type person. 
But it could work because you, you might have two two huge, massive bodies beside Linda Bond. And Linda Bond knows how to work well with leverage. But I can see J.K. hitting that too. Just about at, almost at every position on this, this Tampa team, almost, I think we're better. I think we're better. Quarterback sneak. All right, right here. Again, you got you got your two outside guys, you're an eleven personnel, you got your slot person, you got your tight end. So basically this trips right with the uh pistol. You let fake, which you know when when they when we fake, let me show you something. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, it's probably dead. Hold on, hold on. That's why it's tripping. Let me get my charger real quick for my mouse. I was wondering why I was being stupid today. I was wondering why we were being stupid today. The mouse, that is. You do not line up. You line up in the stands with me, Brandon. That's what you, you line up in the stands with me. That's our position. In the bleachers. In the bleachers chilling. That's, that's where we're going to be at. We line up at the concession stand. <laughs> that's where we line up at. There we go. Now we got some fire. Now we're back in business. All right. Now, what was I saying? I don't remember my train of thought. See, see what happens when you do stuff like that. Just think about this. Oh, this D Jack. That's what that's what that is. That D Jack. That ain't eleven. That ain't good when that's D Jack. Just think of just think of this. Let me get back to the head, the top of this play. Right here. Say this is DJ, but just say this this is flowers. Say this is a flowers. Watch this route. Tell me we can't implement this stuff in there. Pushing the middle of the field, just gonna attack the middle of the field safety. And this is unfortunately, unfortunately, this is Marcus Williams. Our free safety now. Our current free safety. Watch what he does to, to this receiver that allows him to get wide open. Keep your eye on Marcus a little bit. He opens his hips the entirely wrong way and opens this whole thing up for Deshaun Jackson. And again, this could be Zay Flowers. Not saying he is fast as um, D-Jack, but same premise. Gives up a huge play. Gives up a huge play. And again, we know we can protect. We know we can protect. Especially off the play. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Off the play action. I remember my train of thought. On the play action. When we do play action, these sons are going to be up in here. They ain't going to be five, six, seven yards. When we play action, they get in the line of scrimmage. ASAP. So they kind of took that one step. Um, when we do it, them sons are going to be right up in here because they know we were running down their throat if they don't. And again, played, played off of the, and honestly, honestly, Marcus was the read. And I'll I tell you why. All right, Fitzpatrick goes straight, Fitz, Fitzpatrick goes straight to him, looking him square in the face. Square in the face. Now, when he opens his hips that way, he turns his head to go the other way. So he was just waiting on him to make a move. So as soon as he opens his hips the wrong way, Fitzpatrick came this way. First look is here, but then D-Jack hits it right down the middle. Perfect. Perfect read. Tell me eight can't do that? That'd be too easy. you probably get the same result. Same result if you get the same coverage. Again, linebacker's going to be way in the line of scrimmage for us. DJ, wide open. Let's keep pushing. I can't stay on one play too long. All 
You ain't got no power I said. I mean, this is this is where Ricard's role could come in at. This is where, like, this guy right here, this could be Pat Ricard, not the quarterback, behind the quarterback. This is the, the limited role Ricard could have, and I would be cool with it. I would be cool with this. I'd be cool with Ricard doing that. I have, I won't have no problem. And then you can get him. Now, see, hit me, here we go, going back on plays. Let me see. Again, like you know, you got him in here running ISO. Then I, I wouldn't complain about y'all slipping him out in the flats every now and again. Not on the regular, but every now and again, I wouldn't be mad if they slipped him out in the flats. Every now and again, not all the time. But put him in his role, let him go through there and bang on some people. I'm cool. I'm cool with Ricard doing that. You imagine Zyla being Cleveland and Ricard coming at you downhill. It's good vision too by that by that running back. Now you back in eleven personnel again. We called out, lay flowers back in, running outside zone right, and y'all know, y'all know, this is what our center specializes in. Their center is okay, but we know a hundred percent Linda Bum's gonna make this block. Linda Bum will make this block on this cat. All that we've seen it last year. He will scoop this cat. Linda Bum, well, I promise you, all this dude got to do is put, a, put an arm on him to hold him up just a little bit, and Linda Bum will scoop this dude. Then he can split the defense by sealing him off. Then your back can hit that thing like that. See, they center don't get a scoop on him. They center just kind of bounce him out, and it leaves the, the linebacker in, in the hole. But the running back got a choice, you know, because they did a good job play side. But think about this. Even though Davenport is playing Fitzpatrick, he really ain't. Because he can come down this line and get on his tackle. But think about it if this is Lamar. He got to stay there. And so if he stays there because he got to make sure Lamar don't have it, then your back got not only this hole, this hole, and he got the cutback lane too because he got to respect Lamar. So really just, you know, just giving you ideas of, how it would look with with eight and we will well with our personnel not necessarily just eight but with our personnel offensively eleven personnel again which I love they got batted down Let's slot fade. Tell me, you ain't see a lot of flowers do this type of stuff on his uh, highlight tapes and whatnot. Watch the switch right here. You're going to get a switch. You're going to come underneath and you're just going to make a good throw on him. You're going to get a little switch right there. Tell me say Flowers couldn't be this dude. Or Bateman. Or Odell. Or maybe Duvernay. Couldn't be this dude. Look at the pick he created. Create a natural pick. Tell me Lamar can't make this throw. That's money. Lamar can make that. All day long. Especially because we've seen him run the, the double rail route and throw it to the tight end. We've seen it. We just It's just been a little further closer, closer to the line of scrimmage. But we've seen him make that throw. I'm telling you, it's some it's some good stuff in this game, it really is. This and again, this is 2018 uh, season opener, Saints versus uh, Buccaneers. Again, fade ball, we know we can do that. Throw the fade to Odell, definitely can throw it to Odell. I think Bateman can be a a fade guy too. Get the mismatch you want, just throw it up. You get man, you got guys outside that can win. You got guys outside that can win. 
proved Odell's definitely a proven winner outside. Bateman, I, I'm I'm assuming can win outside. We've seen him win on the slants and stuff like that, but I'm necessarily talking about like jump ball situations. Yeah, look at this. It's on the three. You got you are you work on the three yard line. You are working with eleven personnel, tight end, three receivers. A plethora of things could happen. You could have a smash to the bottom. You could have some kind of pick system at the top. You could actually run the ball if the numbers you know work out for you. You got a bunch of things that could happen. But again, imagine if this eight. Imagine if the guy catching the ball is eight. Watch this. If Fitzpatrick can score on on this in the goal line, this same player, you you number eight at the quarterback, he's not even touched. Mar again, it's Marcus Williams. <laughs> Marcus doesn't even touch Lamar if if this is Lamar right here. This may be Marcus's rookie year. Maybe Marcus Williams' rookie year. But that is the same Marcus Williams that's on our team. All right, second drive. Little play action. Again, look at all the space he created with play action. And you know, again, I, I keep saying the same thing. On our play action, them linebackers are going to be in that line. Watch the linebackers. They start on like the 29. Play action at the 25. And that's going to be similar to that on us. But look at all the space that's created in the middle of the field now. All this space that's open because of the play action. Now you just got to have guys that can get in there and run routes and a quarterback that can deliver the ball. Super open. Super open. Bateman, Odell, whoever. Now he fumbled, I think. I think they got it back, though. What we got next? I think outside zone again. Yep. Again, Linda Bum and, and company will eat this up. And keep in mind, you gotta you gotta have somebody. This backer, this backer has to stay. Because that's the threat of Lamar keeping it. Now I'm not saying for Lamar to keep it, but he has to stay for the threat of Lamar keeping it. So when we when we watch it from the end zone view, we got to take one guy out of the picture. So this will be his second year then. Appreciate it, Matt. So now, this this guy right here in the middle. If this is if Fitzpatrick is Lamar, he has to stay here. He can't just go ahead and and, and start his his pursuit. He can't. He can't. Because if he, if he runs out of there, Lamar keeps that. He's right up the middle. So Lamar he would have to stay there. So now that gives the running back. An extra guy. So now 74 don't have to block the, the middle guy. He's going to block somebody else. Somebody's getting a double team. So now you got numbers strictly off your quarterback can move with his feet. And it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. So now this cap, number 12, probably don't get through unblocked. Or whoever that was that made the tackle. Because having Lamar there, that, that, extra, that extra backer has to stay there. He has to. Or the next time they run it, it may be a house call. 